Hello, hello, my nasties. It is that time. We are flipping through my latest coloring book, Tropigoth. Tropigoth. What is Tropigoth? It's a little self-explanatory, but let's go ahead and get into it. So if you are new to my freak show, first of all, hi, hello, welcome. I love spooky things. I love tropical things. For those of you who have been here for a while, you know, you understand why the melding of tropical and spooky makes all the sense in the world for me. So there you have it. Enter Tropigoth. Tropigoth is 28 pages of spooky, beautiful things doing spooky, tropical flavored things. That's exactly the gist of it. It's lots of skimpy outfits, boots, and of course, of course, this wouldn't be one of my coloring books without ample use of fishnets and cat eyeliner, of course. This is, let's see, how can I best describe this? Think vampire on a tropical vacation. Spooky folks in the jungle doing spooky things. Everyone loves, you know, bikinis and sunshine and all that kind of stuff. No, over here we we wait until the evening hours to come out and do our thing. Put on the black swimsuits, put on the latex, grab anything skull shaped that's nearby, put on some spooky tropical tiki music. There you go. That's how we do it. We dance by the light of the volcano lava. Mm, it's a little dangerous, but hey, it's better than the sun. Don't need your SPF at night. So there you go. Perfect for the spooks. This book is just so precious to me. Again, if you know me, you understand why and you just, you get it. And I hope that you dig it as well. The book features 28 pages. Did I say that already? I have no idea. But in any case, it is 28 pages of lots of spooky, beautiful things. And of course, the tiki. I mean, what else is there to say about this book? Oh, 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 I suppose we should mention the format. Yes, ah, cheeky girl, yes. This book is larger than any of the previous books that I have released. Not in terms of page count, but in terms of format. My books are typically eight inches by 10 inches on the largest side, and then I do sprinkle in other sizes and formats. But for this one, we are going larger. We are going eight and a half by 11. Why did I decide to go larger? A few different reasons. Well, number one, I was just in the mood to try something new. Number two, this book, as you have seen, is quite a bit more detailed than most of my books. I always try to sprinkle in pages that are a little bit more detailed than others in my books, and this one is no exception to that rule. However, I find that in this case, there are more detailed pages than simple pages. Now, this is of course, relatively speaking to my particular style, because you all are very well aware if you are uh, veterans of my books, you know that I don't enjoy too much detail because I encourage my colorists to go wild and to play in my books. And of course, even given the subject matter of this one, that is going to encourage you to think even more outside of the box because you think initially tropical. Okay, we all understand tropical, bright, punchy colors and all of that, but this one's spooky. So how do I do that? Well, you can definitely make your spookies bright if you wish. Take a look at my artwork. I do it on the daily. So you are forced to kind of think outside of your own box here, yes? Because you're playing with traditionally spooky themes while maintaining a highly, highly tropical twist. And so I wanted to allow plenty of space to color, plenty of space to add your own line work if you wish. And because there are so many plants and so many little details, it just made sense to create a book that was larger in format to allow you to do that. There are areas of little teeny tiny details on a couple of pages, so there you go. It's going to force you to think a little bit. If you are accustomed to my other work, you understand why this is a little bit of a departure and hopefully it is a welcome departure from the standard. Still very me, but a little twist on me, which is always fun. Tropicoth is available as a bound version as well as a printable. The bound version is available in, of course, the land of Amazonia, and the printable is available exclusively via my Etsy shop. I will as well have signed bound versions, the printed copies, those will be available via my online shop. 
By the time that this video is online, I will not yet have the physical copies, but they will be on my website, my online shop eventually. So keep an eye out. That is going to do it for the flip through of this book. I hope that you enjoy. Do let me know down below what you think. And of course, when you pick up your copy of this book, either version, the printable or the physical copy, make sure to hashtag your pages with the hashtag that is printed in the book so that you can share your colored work on social media. I'm nosy, I enjoy looking at your work. So there you go. Let me know once again what you think. I hope it was worth the wait. I think it's a cute book and it's going to carry you right through spooky season. It's perfect for summer, it's perfect for spooky season, and it is especially perfect for those of you who, like me, live somewhere where it is hot all the way through spooky season. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoy our spooky little romp through the jungle with Tropagoth.